Hello, Carrie here. I watched um, a video by Pam from the Paper Outpost where she uses uh, paper cut out in circles to apply to buttons that she felt were ugly. And it made me think, I don't have um, an appropriate hole punch, but I do have gesso and sandpaper. I thought I could sand some buttons and apply some gesso, and then I could try some stamping on them to see how that came out. I have no idea if it would work, so this was totally experimental. So this is the gesso, and I apply it, I use the tool to hold the button down, and then I apply two thin coats. I found that worked better than applying one thick coat because it was too lumpy and bumpy if I did that. So two thin coats does the trick and I do the edges as well. If they were colored buttons, I'm gonna put that aside while I work on the rest, which I've already had two coats. Um, the holes do get a bit clogged up with the gesso, but it's very easy to just clear them with a pokey tool, I found. I'm glad about that, actually. I was a bit concerned when I noticed that happening. Not all of them have clogged up, actually. It's just the ones with the smaller holes, I think. So there we go. That one felt a bit rough. I've just smoothed it down a bit. And now I'm going to get out my watercolour tin and I'm going to apply various colours to it. I've applied some pink on some, some yellow ochre and some blue and occasionally I've mixed a few colours together. And I'm applying the paint loosely to get that watercolour effect and it's sitting on the gesso very nicely actually. I don't know which colour I like best. That's a purple that I've mixed with the blue and the pink. And I'm just using pure blue on that one. So I've put them aside to dry. And now I've got some stamps. I'm using some, what are they? They're Paper Mania Urban Stamps. They're flexible and they've got small details in, which I think uh, fit perfectly with the uh, size of the canvas, as it were, the tiny buttons. So, this is purely experimental, I have no idea if this is going to work, but I, in my gut I feel it will. So, using some Midnight Blue Stays On, um, I'm going to stamp, uh, ink up the, the uh, first stamp. Initially I thought I'd made a mistake. Um, I thought I'd accidentally got ink on the right hand side but then I realized as I'm reviewing this actually that that's part of the design <laughs> so I'm trying the first one as I say I was a bit concerned about the ink on there I tried to wipe it off <laughs> um, I thought perhaps I was using the wrong method so I decided to do the tapping down on the stamp method so now I'm going to squish it on press down hard because the um, buttons are not oh are not flat that has come out beautifully. I am so pleased, very excited. Thumbs up for that job. <laughs> so I'm going to do all the rest now. Wow, that worked. Let's try this one that has a lot of dents and grooves in it. Let's see if that works because um, if it works on the very um, grooved ones, then that's great because I've got a few of those buttons. Try that, let's see. I have to press down firmly to try and make sure it goes in all the dents. And oh yes, that worked. That is great. I'm so pleased with that. So now I'm just going to stamp up the rest. I've sped that up a little bit. I like that one with the Russian doll on, but it's the text area that I like the most. That's come out beautifully. And this one with the um, London theme. I've got a bit of a, st a stamp effect there, I like that. And there's a London Underground bit that I'm trying to get on that, sta on that button, that's lovely. And I've gone back to the original one for this final blue one. Super, I love those. I'm very happy with that result. I wouldn't have tried this if I hadn't seen the video by Pam from the Paper Outpost. So I'm very grateful to her for her brilliant idea that I've now turned into my own. So here they are, seven pretty buttons. 
I'm very pleased with them. Very simple and very effective. Thank you for watching. Bye.